all right guys welcome back to another video my name is mehul and in this one we'll be comparing godaddy and digital ocean and basically godaddy and other hosting providers like that godaddy hostgator stuff like that so um the tldr version is that if you are a developer if you know how to work with servers or if you are learning to know how to work with servers never go with services like godaddy or um, you know hostgator or any other alternative because these are completely managed solutions these are um, things like you they would never actually allow you to touch the actual infrastructure they would in their VPS plans and all that stuff but if you're going for plans like these I would say just go for a cloud provider you know stuff like WordPress installation one click install it, it kind of feels like you are you're a person who does not really know how to just w get a wordpress zip file from their official repo and start the main installer after installing php on your server that kind of sounds like ridiculous to me that in that if you are a developer who wants to learn back in development and stuff you would opt in for this for production use for your own use right so yeah my two cents is that never opt for godaddy or hostgator or any other plans like this if you want to be a good developer who understands how the cloud tech actually works so yeah as you can see for the pricing part as well godaddy is much um, i would say not really much but it is in fact costlier than digital ocean you pay seven dollars a month for wordpress hosting which could be done theoretically on five dollar per month digital ocean um, instance as well you can use DigitalOcean uh, DigitalOcean does not offer any CDN but you can use Cloudflare CDN for example um, you can have free backups yourself by setting up scripts you can you don't have really have free domain but domains are not very expensive I would say and uh, yeah they just give you one domain if you opt in for the annual plan that is if you pay for the whole year so these are like their their things right again you get unlimited professional emails with digital ocean you just have to set up the correct mx records and go to um you know sites like zoho for example which offer free email addresses personalized email addresses digital ocean actually guarantees you 100 percent not really 100 percent but yeah as long as your server don't doesn't go down if you have configured it correctly that should be fine so yeah i mean there's not even a point talking about um, opting in for services like these if you want to become a developer so let's get right into digital ocean now we're going to be understanding what it is exactly how many features it has how you can work with it as a developer and take it from there so that's all for this video i'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one